1226 on this Tuesday afternoon. We're still tracking some thick clouds outside. So right now we're looking at the first one five satellite and you can see those clouds really getting thicker and thicker as the morning went on. But don't get too troubled by all of this. We are going to see some breaks in these clouds to allow for some peaks of sunshine here and there throughout the second half of the day. It's just going to take a little bit of time for some of those clouds to kind of thin out, but it will come around. Now, in terms of the wind, that's not going anywhere. We're mainly out of the south southeast between about 16 and up to 24 miles per hour sustained winds. That means constantly blowing. But when you put the gusts out there into the mix, well, yeah, it feels a lot stronger. And if you look at that, the wind gusts in Port is about 35 miles per hour this afternoon. Harlingen at 31 everywhere else between 23 and 29 miles per hour. So it is a very windy afternoon and it's going to stay that way later on this evening is when we start to see a little bit of a decline in the wind speeds, but it's not going to be much before it picks back up tomorrow, which is not going to be at this level tomorrow this time. So we do get a small break, just not too much of one. Looking at your hour by hour forecast for the lower valley, everyone east of Westlaco will see temperatures in the upper 80s and even the low 90s today along the coast. However, it'll stay in the mid 80s, but notice that the model does indicate we'll have some breaks of sunshine here and there, and then by tonight the clouds are going to thicken up again. The upper valley, pretty much the same setup. We will see some times of sunshine, some times of clouds, but in terms of temperatures, you're going to be a little bit warmer. We're talking about the mid to upper 90s although this model keeps you in the lower 90s, there are some spots that once it does uh, start to be less cloudy, that's when we'll start to really warm up. And then by the overnight hours, again, those clouds are going to thicken up, keeping everything pretty warm. Looking at the satellite and radar across Texas, not much action going on just yet, but it's still early in the day. Give them some time to do some heating, and that's where you could get some potentially severe weather uh, for the afternoon hours. And when you look at where it is, it's mainly over central and northern Texas and parts of east Texas as well. But look at that red bullseye out there for that moderate risk of severe weather just over the panhandle, and it kind of extends down into a slight and even moderate risk, which indicates maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm that could become severe at that point in time. So if you're doing any traveling, this is something that you're going to need to watch for today as well as possibly tomorrow. It looks like it kind of slacks off a little bit tomorrow, but still there could be some heavy rain. Uh, this is at one o'clock in the morning. So if you're going overnight into early tomorrow morning to kind of travel when there's not as much traffic, uh, once you get into Midland and just west of Dallas, that's where you could get some showers or thunderstorms that produce some heavy rain. San Antonio at six o'clock tomorrow morning should have a few showers and thunderstorms in the area, including Dallas. But notice that all this area is well to the north and east of the valley. The valley's still pretty quiet in the upper 70s early tomorrow morning. Now, as we head into the afternoon, and there's that potential that before the noon hour, we could get a few sprinkles of rain, but nothing like what the rest of the state will be experiencing as that front uh, kind of fizzles out by the time it gets here. It doesn't quite move through this area, so we're not really planning on a whole lot of rain. It's around 10%. So just if you're headed to the north, that's where you really need to pay attention to the weather over the next couple of days. 76 degrees tonight with some clouds around and definitely warm and very humid. Still on the breezy side, but tomorrow it's not going to be as gusty as it is today. Still on the breezy side with that shower possible. High temperatures right around 97. We'll go to 96 and 97. Still breezy, sunny, humid. Uh, for the end of the work week. As we start the weekend, we're going to put a 10% chance for a shower on Saturday, but by Sunday, we're going to bump it up a little bit. Put it at around 20 or 30% Sunday going into Monday. I think that's the most favorable day for those rain chances to happen. We'll be at 94 at the beginning of next week. Your overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 70s.